Hello, Frozies. McFrozen Nuggets here, and yes, now I'm doing a. I'm finally back to doing some more cards diecast reviews. This time around, it's a little different because I'm reviewing the Me Racers. Now I bet you're wondering, how did you get them if you if you've already heard of them and you didn't even get them previously? Well, because I wasn't really that into them, but since they've gotten so popular, I decided, you know what, I think I should check them out. So yeah, I actually got these actually three months ago, and I was thinking about now reviewing them, but you know what? Since I finally got my new Jackson Storm normal diecast, I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the review. So, as usual, package... This is actually one of the first packages that has the new 2018 design with just the Cars logo. And right here, first look at Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. It did also get this three pack, but I'm but I'm gonna have to get a replacement of that one because the metallic is starting to come off, unfortunately. Man, Derby. Racer series and then Radio Spring series. So yeah, these were released just at the beginning of 2018. Some of these, some of the mini racers were actually originally blind bags in 2017, but they actually became so popular, Mattel decided to make it into a whole series, which I think is a brilliant idea. So yeah, and there are mo even more coming out. Like, like we're getting mini races from Cars 1, even. Like, Cruise and Lightning McQueen, we're getting the King, Strip Weather. I haven't seen anything from Cars 2 yet, but I hope so. Because then we'll be able to have mini races from all three movies. Like, the Micro Drifters line, which was the previous mini line. Where we actually got die Micro Drifters from both Cars 1 and Cars 2. They initially started with Cars 2, but then they started backtracking as the ones from Cars 1. So hopefully they'll do that as well with Cars 3 as well. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, let's... And by the way, all of these are new for me, so... If you don't want... If you're gonna be complaining, like... Why are you looking at stuff that you've already gotten? First... First of all, you got... You got a weirdo voice for an adult. Or teen, or even a teenager. Secondly, I didn't get any of the blind bags initially. In case you didn't hear me earlier. But yeah, I'll go through them as I usually would. So first up is the Mini Racers Lightning McQueen. Actually, I'll set my phone down. There we go. Now we got some better lighting. As you can see, I have the 155 scale diecast in the background. Yeah, here's the Mini Racers Lightning McQueen. It's just amazing how much detail they were able to get on just the small die cast. Now I actually bring in the 155 scale die cast for comparison. I actually do like the expression on the Mini Racer. RC said that he actually likes this expression better than this one. But personally, I feel like I'm cool with this one. I still really love this expression. It's got 95 below his left headlight. Rusty's logo. It's just amazing how much detailing they got into this small diecast. I know I've already said that, but come on. That's how impressive it is. You can even still see the sponsors. Piston Cup, Octane Game, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. 95 Lightning Bolt Flames. They even squeezed in the Lightning McQueen signature on the sides of the roof. That is impressive. 95 on the roof, roof flaps, Rusty's logo on the back, and then Rusty's Medicaid bump ointment number 95. And here's the base, LO2, that means it was made in the second week of 2018. L stands for the year, and O2 stands for the week. 2016 Mattel, whew, that's all for 2018 diecast. Well, I mean, they... These were released initially in 2017, so. Just gonna show you 
alongside the normal die cast. Just gonna back this up a little bit. And yes, the decals on my McQueen are coming off a little bit, and I basically use paint to make them fresher. Or look fresh again. But, what are you gonna do? The only thing they didn't get on here was the light year around the rim, around the tires, which that was understandable because we have such a tiny amount of space, it's hard to get everything on there. Anyway, and next up, I'll actually save you for last. Next up is Jackson Storm. And finally, I have the 155 scale diecast to compare. At least the perfect one. Obviously, got that nice, calm, chill expression. His mouth is actually a little hard to see since it is pretty dark. Ignite logo on the hood. Uh, 2.0 on the roof edges. Or on the roof itself. My bad. And you can see the S for Storm. They actually look much more like smaller S's inside the big one instead of on the normal die cast. And you can see the sponsors, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. They even got the little area where to lift him up to, to change the tires. Igniter on the spoiler. Now this one actually has the little bark. The little bars on the on the back window, much like my newer Jackson, whereas my previous one did not have that. And then of course, probably the most recognizable part of Jackson is the back, because of his I, yellow rookie stripes. Obviously, he doesn't have those for the whole movie, not until the end of the movie when he got the Piston Cup Champion decals. The other side. Again, no light year text, but that one's un the but, but that's understandable. And the base, same week as McQueen, second week of 2018. Yeah, just gonna do a little comparison between the mini racer and the normal diecast. And it's excuse the lawnmower if you can he if you can hear it. I do have my window open. Just so excited for the summer. And then now for and now for best for last, Rusty's Cruz Ramirez. Yes. I see since it's been almost a year since Cars 3 came out, you probably know where she appeared. But in case you didn't though, she appeared in the Florida 500 race. When Lightning McQueen decided to let Cruz finish the race that he started. Actually kind of reminds me of that line from Star Wars The Force Awakens. When Kylo Ren was talking to Darth Vader's helmet. And he said, I will finish what you started. And then he got up and left. So, I just think that's kind of odd. Anyway, I really like the expression on Cruz. Definitely like... Because of the fact that she's very free-spirited. She's very happy. And if you watch RC Cars 5's review of his of the custom. You'll know that this is very similar to that. He, The person who used it. I think uh, Joe's Minis. Joe's Minis. Yeah. Yeah, it was Joe's Minis. They just simply took a regular Cruz Ramirez. Added the red rims from McQueen. And just basically painted all these decals on. The 95 Rusty's Cruise. And so and so. Anyway, he, here you can see the 95 on the side. Rusty's. And there's her name, Cruise. If you want to see RC's speculation on Cruise and his initial opinion of her. I'll put that in the description below. And soon I'll basically add card suggestion as well. I just need a little more time. But for now, I'm just going to do links to other videos in the description. And actually, something that I think is interesting is that he actually has the yellow trim around the rims, which is something that the no normal diecast does not have. Now, yes, I know. 
I know, you're like, what are you talking about? It already ha yours already has that. Well, yeah, because I pr customized it. I'm a customizer. And then, of course, nothing on the roof. Act actually, real quick, it actually kind of reminds me of the... Rusty's McQueen, or Intra Rusty's, which has that decal. And also, I'm getting a little off topic, but I'll get back to it real quick. From Cars 2, the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen as well. So I think that's kind of interesting there. Obviously nothing on the roof because she's not a complete racer yet. Gas cap. And the back basically has that part of the five going around into the back. CRS 95. And here's the other side with the 95 again, Rusty's and Cruz. And then the base. L01. Actually, actually made during the first week of 2018. So that's interesting. And again, this is the first look in this three pack. The other one was the other first look was Metallic Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Which if you've seen that review of RC's, I'll link to his review in the description. You'll know that that one is just absolutely beautiful. But I will review that in the near future. I just need to get a replacement. But anyway, here's the normal size die cast. Here's the back. Actually, the headlights are, I mean, taillights are a little different on this one. These ones look, look a little more realistic than being just normal red. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's, let's get these guys in here and bring in their normal size deck. Then, larger counterparts. Man, that's awesome. Yes, I do have those two piston cups. Let's get those out of here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope to do some more mini races reviews. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Subscribe for more content. It's, as usual, social media links in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed this, and yeah. And I hope you guys have a great start to the summer. Love all you frozies to death. And of course, don't forget to keep it rigid.